Well, as we said already, this, this is a, a brown solar dye solar net soil, and what we're going to do now is discuss some of the horizons uh, in talking about that, both in terms of the classification of the soil and maybe just a few ideas about how those horizons formed, how they got to be, and what they are today, uh, what, they, what we see here today. And of course, the, the key horizon is, is, is this horizon that starts about here, a very abrupt horizon boundary uh, starting here and down to about uh, about here. It's, it's down to, I think, around uh, 25 or 30 centimeters in depth. Anyway, um, th that horizon is the BNT horizon, and uh, it has, uh, as we would suggest from the, 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 the is designation, it has both an accumulation of translocated clay, clay that has been translocated down from the upper part of the soil, and it has a reasonably high level of sodium. Uh, th those are the, the, the characteristics. In fact, the, specifically, the calcium to sodium ratio has to be, uh, exchangeable calcium to sodium ratio has to be less than 10 to make it a BNT horizon. So that's the key horizon that makes it a solanets. But there are some other horizons that are important that uh, are and, and show up in the classification uh, at the uh, at, at the great group and also at the at the uh, subgroup level. Well, as we said earlier, we are in a grassland, and so the upper part of the soil has a reasonable accumulation of organic matter. And uh, I think there's an, an AH horizon here, and it's a little bit confusing here today because there was rain you know, just yesterday, and this really pronounced boundary that you see here isn't really a her soil horizon but it marks the lower boundary uh, that the water has infiltrated to uh, you know since since entering the entering the soil yesterday during the rain so the, there was enough rain yesterday to, to moisten the soil down to about 10 centimeters what we see here is uh, uh, near the top and I think it's probably uh, about eight or ten centimeters thick a darker colored horizon, an AH horizon, which of course is called that because it has an accumulation of organic matter uh, and it's dark in color. As I said before, this isn't too much different than the AH horizons on some of the Chernozemic soils, but in terms of classification, the presence of the BNT uh, puts it in the, in, in the uh, Solonetsic order. And then we come to a very interesting horizon uh, below the, uh, the AH and above the AE, uh, par pardon me, above the BNT, and this horizon is, is the AE horizon. So this is a strongly leached and a strongly weathered horizon that's quite, quite light in color, as we see here. And uh, this, I think, uh, has this very light color, probably for a, a couple of reasons. One is the, the strong leaching or the movement of, of, of water through the soil, uh, you know, leaching out some of the things like iron that give soil its color. And, and, and of course, it's also lower in organic matter. Plus, it's on top of this very uh, dense, and as it turns out, really slowly permeable BNT horizon. So I think often the, uh, the chemical conditions of the soil are such, it's, it's under reduced conditions, so you get uh, temporarily uh, now and then, so you get uh, the lighter colored uh, AE horizon. So we have an AH, an AE horizon, um, and then the very distinctive BNT. I have a section of the BNT here that we, uh, removed when we were uh, you know, digging the pit, and you can see it has uh, the round-topped columnar structure. This, these are the, the tops of the round-topped columns. Uh, they can be broken uh, very nicely into uh, into units that are that are smaller, but they're still uh, natural sort of uh, uh, you know natural formation within the soil. Uh, when you look at these on the outside of of some of these uh, of these peds or these structural units, that's where there's quite a lot of, of staining, um, dark staining of probably mainly connected to organic matter and also to, to the presence of clay there. Uh, so, so it has a very very strong columnar structure, and, and basically down below there really isn't too much difference between. Uh, uh, a, a columnar and a prismatic structure, except the cl columnar has the, the round tops, whereas prismatic has the more angular tops on, on, on the prisms. So this is the kind of structure in, in the BNT, uh, and if you break it down even finer, you'll notice it breaks down into a very, a very strong sort of blocky structure, and once again, they're dark, dark in color because of this, uh, you know, because of the presence of the, of the clay and, and especially the organic matter. To, to give the, the dark color of this, uh, what I would call uh, 
a strong uh, sort of medium uh, subangular blocky structure in, in the BNT horizon. And, and, the, and because of the presence of sodium, these structural units are, are quite hard. Uh, you know, they're, it, 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 that, that's one of the characteristics. And this is, of course, one of the reasons that farmers call these clay pan soils. They recognize that this hard layer, this hard, slowly permeable layer, is quite a barrier to the movement of water. It's a barrier to root growth. And, and they notice it when they're tilling the soils, that there's this hard layer down in the soil about 15 or 20 or 30 centimeters depth. The other uh, horizons, as we go down in, into the soil, through the BNT horizon, uh, I can s see that there's a, uh, which looks like, um, yeah, so there's quite a lot of, of calcium carbonate uh, just underneath the BNT horizon, in the horizon, so, and because there seems to be more calcium carbonate there than we'd expect to find, uh, it, it seems to be an accumulation. So that's one of the reasons we would call that a CCA horizon. But this one is, is complicated a bit by the fact that in this, also in the same horizon, the very, very marked accumulation of a, of a, a very a light-colored, well, a light yellowish, uh, you know, a, a yellowish, whitish yellow uh, material, kind of looks a bit like brown sugar, sort of sugary looking. These these are crystals of of, uh, of a mineral called gypsum, calcium sulfate, and uh, and having a large buildup of. Uh, of, of salts such as calcium sul sulfate and other uh, soluble salts, maybe magnesium sulfate and so forth, having that large accumulation of a very saline sea horizon is another sort of accessory characteristic, you might say. Uh, it's not diagnostic of the solanesic order, but nearly always we find the, this, uh, the, 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 uh, the presence of, of salts like gypsum. And so because there seems to be more gypsum here than we'd expect to find, uh, that's one of the reasons the horizon designation for this particular horizon would recognize not only the presence of the calcium carbonate, but the buildup of, of gypsum. And so it would be a CCASA horizon, with a C, uh, C being a capital letter and the CA and SA being lowercase.